So today, I uh, decided to give the Turbo 400 a bit of a clean out. Um, it's been a bit of a service actually, so it's looking pretty ordinary in the bottom of the pan there. Um, so I'm going to change the filter. Uh, I've already changed the vacuum modulator. I've picked up a vacuum modulator that's adjustable. Don't know what that's going to do, but anyway, we've got that's what it is. Um, and uh, and then what else we're we going to do? Oh, that's right, the kick down switch. So over here, that's the old vacuum modulator, a beast of a thing. Um, and then this is the new kick down switch as well. I'm not sure if I can fit that today. I'll see how I go. Um, that's the new oil filter, transmission filter over there. Use a manual. Um, these are the bolts. Put the, the tray in. Um, the liquid that came out of this thing was just shocking. So, well overdue. And you can see up there, it's still dripping. I've just got a towel underneath. underneath up there. I don't know if you can see, alright, but there's the old filter. That's going to come out shortly. Just let that drip out. And uh, yeah, we'll put it all back together and take it for a spin. So, once the filter came out, which is there, um, Get access to the kick down switch which is really easy to remove it looks like it's actually been upgraded at some point in the, in the past um it's up there and it's slight different it got stuck on, stuck on there sorry about that there's this sort of little screen at the bottom of the new one that i've got the wire is pretty stiff this one's nice and flexible so that's about it so i'll replace it anyway it should be fine Alrighty, so I took the car for a spin having serviced it and put on the new vacuum modulator and a new kick down switch, which is that guy. Um, but it still wasn't kicking down from third gear to second. Um, it was, but it was, it was taking its time and certainly under full acceleration it wasn't kicking down to first, you know, when you're travelling at about sort of 40 k's an hour, 50 kilometres an hour or whatever. So I sl slowly sort of diagnosed this switch. Now this switch lives under the dash and it, it's basically at the top of the accelerator pedal. It's called a detent kick down solenoid switch. And the way it works is when the accelerator is pressed, this lever turns on and it creates a current or a circuit and activates one of these. So tested the fittings and there was power getting to this unit, to this switch but there was none coming out the other side down to this guy, which is inside the gearbox. Okay, so that's a kick down switch inside the gearbox. It needs power from this switch in order for this thing to work. So what I've done is grab a multimeter and set it to the ohms sitting there. So it just makes a sound when the circuit has been completed. And you can see that it's now doing that. So the way I fixed it was to, it's not really serviceable, but you can actually prize those little lugs there's four of them on each corner and uh, prise them off and take this top off. There's a spring inside there and then a little switch and the switch inside, the little connections were totally, totally gunked up with like grease and God knows what. So they just needed a good old clean with some, what did I use, some WD-40 and, um, and a rag and got them nice and clean and now this switch is working an absolute treat. So we're going to put it back in the car, take it for a spin and hopefully it all works perfectly.